I'm going to keep this short, sweet to the point, and, you know, without any filler, uh, because I'm in a mood that I feel if I go on, it would just be to extend the length of this video. So, New York Times and another newspaper of lesser significance on a world scale um, posted separate stories from two women about Trump allegedly uh, harassing them sexually, putting his hands on them without their consent. Now, since this story was published a few hours ago, um, Trump's lawyers or Trump's campaign officials or people involved with his campaign, some official sources according to CNN Money, um, have confirmed that they're drafting a lawsuit against these papers, specifically the New York Times, for publishing uh, stories of these nature. Now, I read a little bit about what happened and what's being claimed. And I mean, is this going? This is a trend that I don't like. And if you know the October surprise, obviously there, they that's what they uh, call it. But it's as if people just wait until they can, they know they're going to get the spotlight shine thoroughly on them to make things known. You got to ask yourself: If this really happened? Why would they wait until the month before this election that decides whether or not he becomes president would occur? I mean, this hasn't been the case with any other accuser for anyone. You, know, you go back and you watch um, old videos from five years ago of Herman Cain's, Herman Cain's allegations. Um, that was during the primary. It, it seemed feasible to me that they would wait until that time to actually, or that they would you know, that seemed more reasonable because they weren't just going and trying to get attention. At least you could, you would think that from the way they chose to, uh, you know, come before the general election. Now, you could also argue that they should have done it before he even decided to run for office. But, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I can't tell you what people think nowadays. All I know is that it, it doesn't make sense to me the placement of this happening, it, it feels very suspicious. And, you know, we've had stories that have padded out and turned out to be correct. Um, but I'm not buying it right now. I need some, there needs to be some feasibility to this. See, we're not, we're not going to get into a game where we say one thing about uh, President Clinton, and now we're going to apply it to Trump. You know, I've heard, uh, you know, people say things unsighted, such as, you know, he molested his daughter, just things of that nature, which I know are completely false. And they, you know, just assume from hearing out of, you know, their ear and without any proof of which. So it, it, it's befuddling to me. Um, but again, that shows the mentality of a lot of um, these just it's ignorance. That's all I'm going to get at. So thank you for watching. Have a good day and stay safe.